morning. So Tasha is doing Tasha's hair this morning. <laughs> Getting a quick, not so quick process done before my flight this afternoon to Germany. The international season is here. I mean, I already went to Japan the week before last, so this is trip number two. This is for work, opening up in my quarter, but I had to get my hair right before I leave. We're lifting my roots now. Not nah, bleach. Yeah, but I see it changing already. And it's gentle, it doesn't have a strong odor. My true fashion, I was rushing. I almost lost my flight. I literally checked in at the very minute that's like, I had to pull a finesse. Well, it wasn't a complete finesse. I really was trying to get away with just doing a carry-on bag, but when I got to the gate, the lady was like, ma'am, that's too big. So she took it from me, which had I checked my bag at check-in, it would have been like, no. like 12 o'clock gotta try to stay awake I just checked into my room nothing special I feel like they might have done some remodeling since the last time I've been here but anyway I requested Sharika as my roommate let's see if when she gets here she finesses me and switches rooms but we had like an hour ride from the airport I'm exhausted I wore this turban because as you know I had a hair appointment before I left so I didn't want to be looking crazy then wore this shirt this shirt includes love dreams a special woman and so much fun. I got it from Zara. I have on my Banana Republic skinny jeans with rips in the knees, some socks, and these um, Alexander Wang boots that I've literally been killing. Guess my outfit is Zara heavy today. Zara button up, oversized underneath, and a coat. It's pretty cold here, and I accessorize with my little Chanel brooch. Yeah, I'm gonna freshen up and get my life together. I've been asleep all day. Sharika been on me since I got downstairs. We're headed to the track. Sharika thinks she's funny because I don't have on a workout coat. First of all, someone explained to me what's a workout coat. Not that one. Listen, that's I'm, not a workout coat. That's like you about to go to dinner. What is a workout coat to begin with? This. Sharika, what you got on? What's on your feet? Where your, where your workout shoes at? It was snowing yesterday. Where? Here. Why you on my head about my coat? Not a workout coat. What the hell is a workout coat? That's what I don't understand. We're somehow not where we're supposed to be. Our driver just dropped us off. The stadium, I've been here before, but it doesn't look like the competition stadium. We've been walking around for like the past 15, 20 minutes. So we're just gonna have to do our shakeout, our pre-meet and figure it out. Hopefully somebody comes back to pick us up. Homeboy dropped us off and left. As expected, just as we start our warm up, we're here to go. So now we're at the right place. This is the warm up area. Most of my warm up. Now I'm gonna go do some starts up on the bank. I have not been on a bank since last year. So I need to make sure I'm comfortable starting and running on the bank. So what I'll do is a couple of starts out of the blocks. And I'll probably go about 40, 50 meters, maybe a little longer. I'll end up going around the whole bank. I'll do some run throughs coming off the bank as well, just to kind of keep the blood moving, but also um, get ready for tomorrow. my pre-meet. A couple of starts out the blocks, a couple of sprints off the bank. I don't feel amazing, but I don't feel terrible. I imagine I'm a little lethargic because I pretty much slept all day. Can't do that tomorrow. So, it is race day. I really haven't been doing much of anything since I've been here besides sleeping. That's usually all I can do or try to do is get some sleep. I'm now doing my race day routine, which is my makeup. I've already had my shower. I leave, I'm gonna head downstairs in about a little less than an hour to head over to the track. I don't like to get to the track super, super early. Uh, if I get to the track and I have about 30 minutes before warm up time, that's perfect to me, as opposed to sitting around for a couple of hours. Don't know how much filming I'll be able to get done because I don't have a film crew here or someone that I know I can hand the camera off to. Once I leave the hotel and I start getting into race mode, it's hard for me to think, oh yeah, I have the camera, let me take out this and nah, I gotta focus. As far as how I'm feeling, I am a little bit nervous. I'm not as nervous as I usually am for the first me. I'm usually incredibly 
incredibly nervous for my first 400. It just being the unknown of like, where am I in terms of fitness and shape. The last time I ran here was two years ago. I caught a cramp in my calf, 250 into the race. And I finished the race. I remember after the race, my mom was like, was something wrong? I went out really well and then my second 200 was considerably slower. We're not worried about cramping today. I'm hydrated. I did do that while I was trying to catch up on sleep. Peace out, see you in a little bit. when you're famous and you run fast and you run the world lead. 